Welcome to the car meet. This is the Motorfest social hub, and it's also a place where you can access all the features of the festival. introduce you to an authentic Japanese racing experience. Don't worry, you'll meet them soon enough. So you had to wait, kid. Wanna show us what you can do? Try this guy then. Gotcha. Got it. Sure, why not? Motorfest asked us to 
to show you how it's done, but we don't do free tours here. You gotta play your part and give us a bit of a challenge. No pressure at all. Yeah, don't scare the kid, brother. Sex is in your regular streetcar. It was made back in the 90s to stand neck and neck with the likes of Ferrari and Porsche. You sound just like Shingo. Speaking about Shingo, you know that if a rookie beats us with his NSX, we won't hear the end of it, right? I don't even want to think about giving Shingo the satisfaction. Better focus and win this thing then. on this very road. Even notorious racing groups like the Midnight Club cut their teeth here. And that's what slightly inspired our next event.
street is that you shine like a real hasharia with my NSX. Got me interested. Well, then I believe you're in for a treat. Oh, yeah? Bring it on. So continues, kid, but watch out. You're driving Ren's Skyline this time, and there's no word to tell you how crazy she is about that car. Can't blame her. The R34 is a legend. It's a kaiju. Skyline is an icon. It's a powerful car that takes skill to control. Yep. Ren spent years taming that beast. That car got nicknamed Godzilla for a reason. So basically, you crash Ren's car, better leave the planet. Rebellion! Newbie wants to take the lead! That path is perfect to get a taste of the Wangan spirit. An absolute myth among Japanese street racers. Yeah, picture the Tokyo Bayshore route, with one thing in mind, never slowing down. Is it a festival or an actual street brawl? Not bad for a rookie. Wangan race, you gotta go fast, friend. Well, guys, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. This is the skyline we're talking about. are massive. You got a wish to make? Deep breath. Don't lose control. Sharp turn. Careful. Shingo missed a turn during a midnight race, supposedly because he was dazzled by the moonlight. Oh, shut up! I remember that. Is it a festival or an actual street brawl? technique was perfected by Japanese gearheads who raced in the mountains in order to keep city pedestrians safe. Along with suboptimal road conditions, these mountain passes are filled with hairpin turns and other challenges. Drifting is the best way to take sharp turns without losing speed. In Japan, we call these passes toge. There's even a toge style of racing. The 
winding mountain roads of Hawaii are as close as we could get to Japan. So we figured it would be a good place to teach you. festival euphoria on hold for a while and get a proper face off. Let me show you what Toge is all about. Relax. I've seen what you can do. Daijoubida. Plus I'll give you some tips on the way. the brake and gas pedal at every turn. One wrong move and you're out. This technique isn't easy, but when you pull it off, you feel like the greatest driver alive and the coolest. Gen 2002 Mazda RX-7. Lightweight, compact, a sick rotary engine, and one hell of a look. That's an honest car, and she seems pretty confident you can beat me with it. Let's prove her wrong. coming. 
gets tricky at high speed. Make sure you don't lose control. and this is it. Come on, show me some real toge driving. Traditional Japan, now it's time to enter the modern age. Be prepared, the contrast is stunning.
Hinata Chad, it's me, Hinata. Incredible, you did beat Hayato in that toga duel. I knew it. There's something about you. Hayato is one of the best racers I know. Kudos. And now, welcome to my playground, the drift track. Drifting was born in Japan. That is where you'll find the biggest drifting scene and some of the best drifting spots, of course. Like, the EBC Circuit is one of the most famous places in the world for drifting. Designed by drifters, for drifters. Who knows? Maybe Motorfest will get you drifting there someday. Tougher yet still elegant? That is my RX-7 2.0 for you. Because Japanese car culture isn't only famous for its drifting history, it also brought modern cars to another level, among many other things. Come on, you're almost done. Push that beauty to its limit. You have my permission.
I know. Kudos. And now, welcome to my playground, the drift track. As you already know, drifting was born in Japan. That is where you'll find the biggest drifting scene and some of the best drifting spots, of course. The EBC Circuit is one of the most famous places in the world for drifting. Designed by drifters, for drifters. Who knows? Maybe Motorfest will get you drifting there someday. Because Japanese car culture isn't only famous for its drifting history, it also brought modern cars to another level, among many other things. Come on, you're almost done. Push that beauty to its limit! You have my permission! 